Hi, my name is Rondit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I want to show you the D feature command in our assembly tools. Now this feature lets us remove any, feature, uh, any simple features that we have, any parts, any little sub-assemblies that we have in our top level assembly. And then we can save uh, the new component, the new part, as a 3D content model or a separate file for future use. Let's see where we can find this uh, D feature command. In order to find it, we'll go up to our command tools, uh, search tools, and type in D feature. Um, either I can use the feature right away from here, or if I click the eyeglasses, it lets me know where this feature is located. So it's under tools, D feature. So I'll just grab it from here. And what this does is fires up the, uh, the D feature command. So in our first step, we have uh, the components that we want to be uh, removing. So in this case, I'll uh, check the box for selected components. And from my uh, feature manager design tree, I'll just select a few components that want to be removed. So in this case, we'll remove these pan cross heads. So I've got one, two, three, four. And we'll also remove the gaskets that are under there. So gasket one and gasket two. Um, from my display, I can select if I want to show, hide uh, these components, hide the other ones, or make them transparent. In this case, we'll just say hide, remove components, and we'll click update. Once you click update, you'll notice the gasket and the pan cross heads uh, are removed. Let's go next. Step two allows us to remove any motion if uh, we have any motion in our assembly. In this case, we don't. We just have a simple sub-assembly with connected mates. So we'll just go to the next section. Now over here are all the features that you want to keep. So any of the features that you select in this case. So for example, from my tree, if I select these holes, um, then uh, those features will keep. Even if you don't remove them, those features will. Uh, 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 if you don't remove them, those features will stay there. So um, let's go ahead and click next in this case. And what SolidWorks does is goes ahead and removes those features that we didn't select to keep. And if you notice, it brings up this another uh, window. So let me bring this here and uh, let me play with this uh, uh, preview window. If you notice, uh, you've got all the different types of uh, features that are here. For example, these cuts. And if you notice your uh, 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 the preview model, it doesn't have any of those holes. So awesome. Um, those uh, features were removed. So now, uh, in this uh, step number four, we get an option for uh, items to remove. So these are not components, these are items. So from my tool, uh, from my feature manager design tree, I can select any of the features that I want to remove. So for example, you see this cut sweep that's going through this uh, tube. If I wanted that removed from both the windows, I can go ahead and select that feature from the tree. So I'll just expand my Venture tube one and I'll go find where that feature is. So this is the cut sweep. I'll select that and you notice in the items to remove, you have cut sweep um, available. And I also want to remove this face. So I'll select that face, give it the face option. And you notice the face one is a part of the items to remove as well. Let's go ahead and do that for the other tube as well. Uh, so venture tube two, I want to remove the cut sweep one. And I want to also remove the face here. So four items selected and I'm going to go hit next and notice what happens in your preview model. So you notice those faces are back and um, uh, the, the cut sweep is not there anymore. So this was basically, you know, the last step of your model. Um, once you have defeatured your uh, sub-assembly, removed all the parts, components, features that you don't want to be a part of that particular, the, the new uh, model. A couple of things we can do over here is either we can save the model as a separate file you know, it just uh, it'll have its uh, you know C drive or uh, a location to go to, or we can publish this model into 3D Content Central. Now this is a nice website where we have a lot of uh, um, all different designers and engineers uh, place a lot of different models for uh, future use, and even you can go create a website account and grab any models from there. Or you can just say just store settings for my future use, and you're good to go. So in this case, we'll just uh, save the model as a separate file, and if you want to link it to the original one you can check this box if you don't want to link it to that um you uncheck that box and uh, it's it acts as a separate file so you'll just hit the green check to that and it notice you notice it brings up your save as window and you can go into any of the folders wherever your location is and uh, 
rename this part as D feature. And hit save. And now that part is uh, saved there. As uh, you notice, this is not a preview window anymore. This is a D featured part. So I'll cancel this, expand this. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.